button is clicked. Go. Oh God. Hey everybody. Welcome to this new episode of Galatea. Only 15 minutes late due to technical difficulties. Ta da Wait, how do we always start at this time? We'll be... uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Oh shit. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started with any announcements anyone has. Does do any of the players have sweet announcements? Uh, thank you for people who came and watched Constitution Check this weekend. Total raised was something like 3200 bucks. Which, after the fees that shit took off, was fucking, yeah, uh, after the fees that the platform Tico was using took off, it ended up being like $2,600 donated, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, that's fantastic. It was super fun! <laughs> Me and Tracy were both in games, and it was awesome. Yep, it was a lot of fun. Yay. I discovered the Raptor Blender. Oh my god. Yeah. That, that sounds so terrifying. Conjure animals gets you eight velociraptors. I'm just saying. They all have multi attack and they all have pack tactics. What level were you? Uh, level six. I dealt 84 damage in one turn. With, <laughs> and I missed my attack. It was a good, it was a good game. I one shot a <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah, just a bunch of broken. Broken player or broken uh, character comps, to all just sort of throwing shit at the wall. It was fucking great. <laughs> Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything from anybody else? I am still awesome. That's true. Although I started the diet today and I already went cookies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, that happens. Like I'm twenty, I'm twenty hours in and I want cookies. That's about right, yeah. <laughs> that's that's Anybody an else impressive anything? turnaround time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not terribly surprising. It's a right really on the impressive line, turnaround. Like, oh, I just started yeah. the diet. What are all the things I'm missing? Uh, yeah. I promise you, I will I will eat my dinner quietly. Is your dinner cookies? No, my dinner is pulled pork. Because I got a sick deal on pork. Sick deal, bro. <laughs> it's honestly not great. I'm not enjoying it that much. I don't oh. want more green beans. That's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> if you send me those green beans, I will eat them. I fucking love green beans. No, okay. green beans are, 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 they, are they fresh green beans or are they canned green beans? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. The frozen the ones, ones are good, gross. too. Yeah, the frozen yeah, ones, ones are good. Yeah, the ones are okay. Yeah. The canned ones are gross. They're all squishy and yeah. Oh, and like, yeah, really I, I think, I think really the scale. I think the scale is like fresh frozen can. It's like can oh, is like sure. way at the bottom. What I really like is you take the fresh ones and you fry them in a pan with like white vinegar or malt vinegar. It's fucking awesome. To be honest, I think frozen ranks above yeah. fresh because they're all fresh in there. Like they're all at the top. Get to like, like fresh when you freeze frozen. them. I've just never been able to get frozen. The really good to fresh fresh ones I've gotten are from the farmer's market. And those are good. Oh, that yeah. is true. You get them like, yeah. they, they got green green beans are really like this morning. Yeah, those yeah. are tasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. I just don't like green beans. Mm. Don't know what That's you're fair. missing. I, I used to feel that way about asparagus, and then we started sauteing them with garlic powder, and now. Oh, oh, God, God, that yes. <laughs> See, it was the same thing with broccoli, and then I started putting it into like stir fries, and then also just like oven roasting mm. it with garlic on it. And it's super good. I'm not a huge broccoli yep. fan. See, the best use I've ever found for like charred garlic. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever had uh, a. Uh, it's one of my favorite. It's so good. Like, you do it right. Flour, like, I like raw, potatoes. but not cooked so much. <laughs> have, you, have you guys ever had, had a. Uh, flour, have you guys ever had what? chicken to van? Nope. Yeah. I am it's going to like, look that up. I mean, chicken in a van. It, it's chicken like, in a van? Uh, yeah, I bought chicken in a van. In a van down by the river. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you shouldn't get together. into vans with strangers, John. It's rice. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Rice, I have chicken, Super good. broccoli, and you mix it together with like. Uh, cream of chicken and I think cream of broccoli. Yeah. Oh. And it's and it's really that does sound good. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken, broccoli, almonds, and a mornay sauce. So, so as delightful as I'm sure this conversation about food is for our dieting yeah. player. 
God damn, that was the best tangent we've gone on in a long time. That was pretty good. Yeah. Does anyone else have any announcements? No. No. Okay. Ugh. My answer is first off, cookies are awesome. And second are. off, um, my I'm still selling stuff uh, on DM's Guild and will always be selling stuff on DM's Guild, but there is one more day. One more for you to buy stuff from me and have it go and have my part of the profits go to charity. Um, so take a look at that. I just put out a new pack a few days ago. Um, it's a nature archetypes pack featuring a new druid, fighter, monk, and uh, warlock uh, archetype, as well as some additional totem barbarian options um, and a couple of magic items just for funsies. Is my monk so, one in there? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's it's the uh, Way of the Beast Beast Monk. Um, it is Ooh. a Circle of Ooh. Balance Druid, Warlike Patron, The Deep, and a uh, fighter archetype known as Slayer. Huh. So, check it out. It's cool. Excuse me while I tab out to, to go buy that. DM's Guild and now look this <laughs> yeah. up because that actually sounds fucking great. Uh, it, it, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. it's pretty cool. And then five new animals for Totem Barbarian. Ooh, which are, interesting. if I remember I'm going correctly. To awesome, look these up. Yeah, yes. Hold on, what are the animals? It's um, Rabbit. I put the Rabbit one in there, which I changed slightly the one that Gax was using. Rabbit, Shark, yeah. Cheetah, Badger, and. Badger. Oh, I'm missing one. Badger. Mushroom. Badger, 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 Badger. No, there's not Mushroom. The snake, the snake. I don't remember. There's a fifth one that I can't remember what it is right now. I think they're pretty cool. So, so when and this month is over and, and people start this. buying the monk, the the nature thing, do I get a cut because it was my idea? Uh, <laughs> wow! No. No. Fucking wow! Jesus! <laughs> we need a panhandle, John. <laughs> yeah, jeez. I did ask you they if you were take okay the with money out of, for sale. Yeah. You're just taking the money straight out of the pocket, or straight out of pocket. I, I don't actually remember you asking me, but I'm not actually. I did, like, I straight out of I've been talking about that one for a long time, so I asked you a while ago. Ooh, so, I, me, of course, me saying I don't remember doesn't the mean one I anything. just did. Yeah, the one I just did, Chile, is the nature archetype, so the action hero archetype is also Clicking cool. Down, if you're yeah, interested in that one. is actually sick. The action one is the one that I downloaded before. And I just bought Nature. So, oh, thank you. congratulations, Look at that. NAACP. Yeah, a couple more bucks to the NAACP. What a cool guy you are, PV. Yeah. Um, hey, what you I want? I really hey, want nothing. this free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, but seriously, if you can't afford it, I'm not offended by you downloading it for free. It's pay what you want for a reason. Please go download it if you want it. Please. Go do the thing. Um, if you have money to spend on it, do it. Because it either currently it'll go to the NAACP, any other time it'll go to me. Just basically, I'm using that for like commissions and buying other D and D stuff. Um, so yeah, that's a good call. Cool. Um, that's my announcement. Are we good? Anything else? You. Yep. Ow. Ow. Mm. Yes, everything's fine. Don't injure yourself. <laughs> no, I just found something pointy in my couch. Mm, that counts as injuring yourself. Yeah, it's, cool. it's probably fine. So then we'll go ahead and kick things off. Uh, first off with the recap. So the party is in the primarily gnomish city of Ildar, uh, where they are looking for a fugitive from Dragonix named Slurus Tillix, a black dragonborn man, a uh, necromancer, who has um, who was responsible for a uh, bringing some zombies back to attack some innocent festival goers. Shit was rude, yo. Um, yeah, that was a dick. To be fair, you've never met him before. Yeah. I'm just um, assuming. The party has uh, knows he's there, has uh, come up with a bit of a plan to attempt to draw him out by making themselves known to him um, by um, participating in the fighting tournament, which happened uh, earlier today, basically, in game time. Um, <clears throat> The party went ahead and did that, um, and Zarn and Norn were both successful in uh, winning their bout. Um, Zarn, in particular, without breaking a sweat. Um, 
that shit was goddamn silly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> and uh, while that was going on, Bree managed to uh, find a black dragonborn man who was writing something down while in disguise, while magically disguised as uh, someone else, an elven woman. Um, she was unable to read the writing, but upon uh, casting the spell magic on his illusion. He did uh, disappear rather rapidly. She was unable to follow, unfortunately. But, you know, clues and hints and things. But I didn't get <laughs> caught, caught. That's true. And Bree did not get caught by the guard after shooting a flaming, a scorching ray into the sky in the midst of a crowded arena. Which, you know, good job. I mean, in all fairness, that was part of a really good plan that just did not pan out. Really good. <laughs> capital R, capital G. A-plus-tier plan. Y'all know it was great. A-plus plan. Um, the, so the party has now met back up um, near their ship, which is currently parked at the docks, and is um, has decided um, now, at just about dusk, to go look for Jasper, a member of the elite, the guard in the city, who they met previously. And so we'll go ahead and kick off from there with the party making their way from the ship to go find Jasper. At least that was the plan as of the end of the last session. Yeah, we were going to find him. What were we going to tell him? I genuinely don't remember. Uh, I was going to tell him... The original thought there was, was guy hey, we know he's here. He's yeah. got rainbow lipstick on his back. Yes, right. the lady does too. That's true, you did also find that other person. Yeah, yeah she was just taking notes on everyone. Yeah. She had a, 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 a list of names written down. She may have just been a recruiter. But... Yeah. She I feel like she might have just too. legitimately been a... just been a sports reporter. But... It could have been a murder list. We don't know. Really could. Very easily could have. Yeah. Uh, just, we're, we're outside right now. Yeah, you're currently outside in the quays. Did we find Carter yet? Because I know he was, like, unconscious Yeah, you guys had found... No, he was he was sleeping on the ship, and you guys all had a conversation about this before. Uh, he was not okay. sleeping, but he was on the ship. You guys went to the yeah. ship, found him, all that jazz, yeah. He's Michael Sierra from Thunder Arrested Clinton. Development, just face down on the deck. Yes. But what the fuck is this we thunderclapton shit? <laughs> <laughs> First, the We didn't off. do anything. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, hey. we? I like to share things. Don't thing share this do. thing. <laughs> I do not want to share this thing. This I sharing did nothing. <laughs> now, now, now you learn sharing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you said Bree. Now would be a really good time to cast Thunderclap. I specifically did not say that. <laughs> yeah, I sort of remember that. I was going to poke him with a stick, and then you just thunderclapped. Oh, I thought you were going to kill him. I was both. What? No. Fuck it. Fine. <laughs> okay, uh, looking around, do I see elite or, like, any elite kicking around? Quads. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Um, just looking around where we are, do I see any elite or anything? Mm, in the quays? Uh, roll a perception check for me. I know they're not, like, super common here, but maybe we can just, like, knock this one off quick. Not with the 12. Mm, you look around uh, where you are right by the ship, you don't see any elite. You see a couple of the dock masters, but that's not really the same thing at all, so... Yeah, they're not super helpful. All right, guys. What do you think? Do we, do we go looking, or do we just give up and go get drunk? Like, what do we, what are we thinking here? Um, let's try to look for a little bit more, and if we can't find anybody, that's gonna get wasted. Okay. I'm, I'm following your lead then. Lay on, Mixarn. All right. So, let's see. Can I try to look for some guards? Are you gonna try to look in the same place, like in the quays? Well, no. Let's let's head back towards the arena area. Maybe we'll find them there. 
Okay, you want to head back up towards the arena? Yes, because that's, I mean, that's the area where you... So, Bree, that's where you saw him last, right? Yeah, he was in the arena, and then he came out. I didn't see which way he went. Okay. Do you remember what he looked like as the elven woman? Well, I just saw the back of him. Okay. Cause him but he does have a big lipstick X on his back. Cause... I feel like he might notice that. But... No, he didn't notice. Hmm. And I, I was I, super sneaky. I'm just trying to. Th I'm trying to think of a way that if we could track that lipstick, but I could. Like, if all I can do is just track the actual lipstick. Yeah, it'll, it'll come yeah. back to me. We also had. I know that would have been awesome if we could have. Hmm. Yeah. When he was disguised as the elven woman, could you see the rainbow X? <clears throat> no. Shit. That's how I knew there was something weird. Yeah. Because it was things weren't it in so the right harder. things weren't in the right spot and I was writing and nothing was showing and so that's why I cast cast a spell magic on him. Right. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like if we can at least remember his appearance as the elvish woman, maybe we could like have ask if they've seen her. Because like so no one so far has seen a black dragonborn, right? But he was a black dragonborn when he left the stadium. All right, well then, yeah, let's let's just check near the stadium and see if anyone saw a black dragon one head anywhere. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's go that way. All right, let's do it. I mean, I just kind of thought it would have been a bad idea for me myself to chase after him. Yeah, it's probably a good choice. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm sure you could have taken him, but. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> but then you guys would have felt bad. And... I would have been incredibly disappointed if I couldn't kill myself. It's true, yeah. I didn't want that to happen. Alright, so I'm gonna walk towards the area and I'll look for, um, I'll see if I can find a, uh, uh, guard. And I just want to sidle okay. up next to Zarn really quickly and just whisper to him that they didn't see the elf captain anywhere. Ah. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys make your way, um, towards the arena um <clears throat> do you guys want to look for the elite on your way up there or just go straight to the arena and abandon the original plan i mean i'll i'll keep looking on the way there just in case mm -hmm. so what's your pet um or your roll perception for me just roll it Ugh, 11. nope <clears throat> no such luck <laughs> like... my passive perception is a 13 really? would that help I roll it again just to roll it. Natural 20. God damn it. <laughs> and you wasted it. I know. Damn it. We did that 20. <laughs> there you go. That's so annoying. <laughs> when your next roll is not a 20, I'm going to remind you of exactly what would be. I'm already, mm. I already am angry <laughs> about so not mean. having cookies. That's not going to be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> roll a willpower check for not going to eat cookies. Basically, fail. Yeah. I mean, and look how wet, how he stormed through that fight last week with cookies. Can you imagine without? Ah! Yeah. Hulk Zarn. Speaking <laughs> Zarn smash. Speaking of which, uh, we have not oh. rested, right? You have not no. rested. Okay, so Me and you did. I, I will say, I will say oh, that you guys have all gotten a short <laughs> rest if you want to do that. Yeah. Except, yeah. except for Bree. Bree has not. Yeah, I just wanted to ask because I, I printed my sheet out, so I want to make sure I, I write down how many spells I've used still. Yeah. <clears throat> we still at full HP though, right? Yeah, you'll all be at full HP no matter what. Yes. Okay. I'm just so sure if you get anything else spells. back from a short rest. Then so I still have a level it, three but... inflict wounds. If anyone says cookies again. <laughs> just hey Zarn. Hey. Cookie. I find the nearest person and just pump it. <laughs> I have counter spell ready. Uh, and I look up to the sky and say, damn you quads. <laughs> Whoever that is. Damn you, you merciful hear. Poseidon. You you me. hear it an evil laugh that emanates from the heavens. It's 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 spooky. God damn it. Anyway. Um, so you guys uh, oh. continue making your way towards the arena. Yes. Last question. No days have passed since last session? No. This okay. is the evening of the day of the fighting. Okay, cool. I'm just I'm tracking mm -hmm. other things on the bag of holding. Yep. Alright. Cool. Um, 
Yeah, so this, I believe, is day three of your boat being at the dock, if that's what you're trying to Yeah, we have eight days left on that. We have 13 days left until we can go get the automatons. We have two days until the rail city is going to finish the thing made of sea hydra hide. But I feel like we might have to add another day to that because we did scare the shit out of them. Right. May add another day to that one. Also, I don't know if this is a really high importance, but should we look into trying to hire a crew to take care of our ship while we're gone? I think we should definitely put that on the list. Yeah. Do we need a crew while it's docked at port? Well, that's what I'm saying. No, like, if, but I mean... Like, if we, if we don't know if we're going to make it back, like, maybe, like, listen, uh, you're in charge. Uh, if we're not back, take the ship out, run some supply runs or whatever, make us some money. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If we're going to be here for, like, a while, we could set up a little, like, merchant route. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because life as a cleric is not as glamorous as you'd think. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty I'm not gonna lie. Being the herald of a great angelic being is really doesn't pay very well. Yeah, not to mention all my money goes to charity because I'm a good person. Hey, did man. you get paid for fighting? I'm a supporter of small businesses, guys. We didn't get paid for fighting. No, we, there was we specifically did not get paid for fighting because that was that was to get us entered into the paying tournament. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. of which. I was the only one not to make it. So have fun with that. Which that that's not even fun. Well, like you can help me in the stands next time, Carter. It's well, that was where the action was anyway. But yeah, but also isn't the next tournament in two weeks? It's two and a half. Two and a half weeks. Yeah, so I mean we could absolutely come back then. I mean if we haven't found Tillix by then, hopefully we have, but maybe he'll be back again in a different disguise. So, I don't know. Just a black dragon worm with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Big <Beth> Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? My name is Skrillex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skrillex. Just a black dragon worm with a weird haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm on, I'm on Excuse me, young young dragonborn bard. What whatsoever are those round tables in front of you? Just all thumbs. <laughs> <and keep going. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Fuck, now I wanna make this. I call it I wanna I the now wanna fall. make this like an item. Yeah. <laughs> I now wanna make a DJ bard. <laughs> Play like soda, but Okay, but not. that a run character though. Yes. <laughs> On a related note, they made a DJ skin in Smite, if you guys want to check that out later. Just saying. Hey man, League did it first. Have to actually download League that. did it I'm first, and League did it badass, and we'll they show you later. They did really, really well. DJ skin anyway. is awesome. Uh, DJ anyway, badass. looking while Anyways. walking? Yes. Uh, Zorn already tried that. If anyone else wants to try to look for an elite, you can do that if you're looking. Are you looking for Jasper in particular, or just an elite? I mean, if I can find Jasper... Like, I'm not going to say no to the guy. I like the guy. So, so we're yeah. looking for elites? Oh, well, that's not going to get one. That's not going to do it. That's a nope. 10. My nope. check is not rolling. That's weird. Why are you not fucking click? Hey, got there. Uh, fuck. <laughs> that was a collection of bad rolls, team. No. Wow. Well, um, you guys just team. don't seem to Jesus. see any elite somehow on your way to the... Now, granted, you're not walking through like, the, real nice, the real nice areas of town. But like, <laughs> you got it's kind of weird that you don't see any actually. Ooh, I turned bad card, I guess. Carter, Guys, do you think we start a riot? They'll show up. Carter, punch me in the face. <laughs> I, I, yeah, do that. I want to see how this goes. Hey, hey, hey! I kind of want to do it like so quick. He doesn't even realize it. <laughs> Carter, punch <laughs> me in the oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even finished saying oh. it. He's already been whacked. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, are you gonna punch him or not? And is Zarn really asking that punch question? Him. Punch me in the face, punch quick! Him. Punch him. Yeah. I don't know how he thinks this is gonna help, but I fucking want Car Carter. Just does, Carter's like, okay, he doesn't hold back and just whack right in the face. You take. Go ahead and roll an unarmed strike for me, there, Carter the monk. <laughs> attack or attack or damage. Just roll uh, are you are you just gonna take it, Zarn, or yes. do you want him to roll an attack? No, I'm just taking. Roll the damage, my friend. I so desperately want to see how this is going to help. Yes. Because 
because Bree and Norin are there, do I get sneak attack on this? No, no, because I'm looking right at you. Him. <laughs> Damn. He kind of knows it's coming. Yeah, yeah he sneak definitely attack knows it's coming. Punching him in the face. Even though the rules technically say that, yeah, but no, no sneak attack for this. I rolled a one on damage. So what's the total? Five. Five. You take five points of damage, aren't you? Uh, uh, guards, help! Help! And I'll use minor illusion to sort of do a thaumaturgy thing so that it'll sound like, fight, fight, fight! I am going to step back. Yeah, as, as I hit the ground, I also, just I also do thaumaturgy. Three steps back. Guards, help! Norin takes you, three steps backwards. <laughs> you roll around on the ground a bit, and there's like some passersby who are just like, "Oh God, what's happening?" Like a few people just like dash off, and a few other people are like, <gasps> like watching to see what'll go on. Like, "Oh, oh man, this is interesting. What just happened? That came out of nowhere." Um, and because you're yelling real loud with thaumaturgy, after about a minute or so, around the corner comes comes running uh, an individual, a uh, female um <clears throat> female individual can't really tell what race she is exactly uh long sort of strawberry blonde uh hair tied back in a ponytail comes running up <laughs> what's going on here how can i help on her way up i want to look over at Bree, like tell him the dragonborn hit me i was going to anyway <laughs> oh, no, this, this black dragonborn came running out of nowhere just clocked my friend knocked him com practically unconscious on the ground I yeah, Did anybody there. see where he went? I'm on the ground. Ah! Ah! Which way did he go? I don't know. Black Dragonborn. Um, well, okay. Can you give me any more description about him? He had a rainbow black. stripe on his back. Ah! Yep, yep, yep. I saw that when I saw the back end of him running. L like a, a cloak? No, like an axe. All right. Um, and I'll kind of match the lips a little bit. I'll do what I can. Take care of him. Sit up straight. Hold your nose to stop the bleeding. Um, you'll be all right. You're fine. Just oh, sit up I'm gonna go see if I can Who find this individual. Oh, and oh, sweet and she goes sweet like free. sprinting off in a direction, like running full tilt. <laughs> Jesus like, fucking Christ! Through a bloody nose, I'm like ha! She bumped. <laughs> Guys. You know, we just, you know, I know this guy's an asshole and a fucking monster and we're probably going to kill him, but this feels excessive, even for us. Does it, though? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Meanwhile, what? I'm bleeding out of my nose still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, you uh, can do it any time you want. You're how much damage did you take? Just, just five points. Just five, I'll, I'll cast. I could lay on hands it and I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm nicer than you, so I'll cast Healing Word on him, and that would be four, oh, for four, and four is eight. Yeah, supercharged. Man, I you know stuff's bleeding. Right. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a full military rank. You, <laughs> you have military you, rank you now, yeah. you now since... Huh. You've now sent a, a guard running off towards a phantom assailant who's not yep. there. Yep. What's the plan now? I didn't think this far ahead. Yeah, this I'm should have been I was I thought you were just trying to do it. Him. I thought you were just trying to do it to actually get a guard to come over. I didn't expect you to blame it on Damn it, that's such a better idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can, like, we could have, we could have Carter punch you again if you want. I don't think it's gonna work a second time. Yeah, it'll but probably it could be, be fun. Guard. Yeah, Carter. Carter <laughs> actually could like, that be a second time. Like I'm game for this if you are. <laughs> I hold my nose. No, thank you. Can I walk up to the end of the block and just see if there's a guard there? <laughs> While they're squaring off, can I just like wander my way up? Uh, no sure. Where are you wandering to exactly? I'm sorry, I didn't uh, hear it. Up to the end of the road. Sorry, I'm gonna fix my sound thing. No, that's um, me, not you. That was just oh, me, not okay. me. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, just up to the end of the, like the road that we're on, where there's like a corner, and see if there's any 
any guards, like anybody kicking around that way. Mm, roll a perception check. Hmm. How would I do that? I have never rolled a perception check on here before. Give me a second. <laughs> it's doing that thing where I'm clicking the button and it's not doing anything. Fucking do you have dice, BB? Yes. Just I could those. just use those, but this yeah. is... I'm too lazy. This is less mad. My dice tower um, is all the way across my living room. It's, it's you so make your way up to the end of the street, which is like a... to like a major intersection, as it were. Um, mm -hmm. Sort of approaching the area of the Grand Thoroughfare, sort of where the quays in the Grand Thoroughfare start to like mix and mingle, as yeah. it were. You get to that sort of boundary. Um, and you do see um, another uh, member of the elites, a, uh, a female half orc. Sure. Why did I take a bite? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Good time. That was a poor choice. Um, yeah, I'll walk. I'll like wave, try to flag her down. Just hey, excuse me. She sort of looks up and um walks walks towards you. Uh, hand sort of uh at at uh at her like the hilt on her side. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I have a couple questions for you. All right. And as she's walking over, I'm gonna turn to everybody else. Like, what were we gonna ask? I just realized I don't know what we're supposed to. Oh, fuck it. Uh, hi. <laughs> so I have a couple questions for you. All um, right. Friends and I, and I occasionally use that term loosely. Um. We are trying to find someone who attacked my friend during the fights. Um, they were up in the stand. There was a whole thing. There was like a fire spell that went up just awry up into the distance. Um, and we're, we're trying to find this person to see just what happened. Um, it was a black dragonborn. And, and this is going to sound weird, but when they ran away, she said that she saw a big rainbow colored X on his back. Does that sound like something you've seen? Uh, I don't think I've seen or heard of anything like that. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can... Is he's a black dragonborn man, you said? Yeah. With a, mm -hmm. like, apparently a very brightly colored rainbow X on his back. I don't... Is that a know. permanent feature? Like, on, on, a, on the scales, or...? I don't really know. I think it might be a game right. sign. That seems unlikely, but uh, you never know, I suppose. Hey, man. Continentals, are, right? Are you a terrorist? Something like that. Is he a right. tourist or a I terrorist? I'm a traveling performer. All right, yeah. One of them minstrel types. All right. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll see what I can do. I'll go back to... I'll, I'll get back to headquarters with this information. I'm sorry. If I knew something about it, I'd help you out, but I just this... don't personally. Entirely fine. Do you know somebody that might be able to help us a little bit more? Uh, maybe somebody who was working like on shift near the arenas earlier today that might have been near the stands? Wow. <laughs> Fucking wow. <laughs> um, oh, just because somebody's got a twang doesn't make him an asshole. I'm kidding. Oh, it's a woman? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you missed that part. It's a female sir? half one. Bam! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't know. She's a little bit prejudiced against minstrels, apparently. Hey man. I know. I, I know what she means. I, I can get it. take you back to headquarters if you'd like to talk to somebody. There might be someone from who was working the arena there, or they might have some information on the reports. Yeah, that could help. Um, yeah, I'll come with you for that. That sounds like a good use of my time. All four of you want to come? Yeah. I can go and catch up to you guys. I'll like, go. if you guys have something else to do, I can go and catch up to you. I feel like having somebody represent what actually told us about it might be... Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. All right, well, just go ahead and follow me, and I'll take you out there. Thank you very much. Of course, no problem. Um, so she and 
like I said, sort of female half orc, very much sort of a classic half orc appearance, uh, uh, sort of like a, a, a dark, like forest green skin, <laughs> pair of uh, small sharp tusks from the bottom lip protruding, uh, dark black ponytail, like like braided ponytail, um, running down her back over the white and the gold elite uh, uniform. Um, <clears throat> As uh, she leads you, um, it takes you about 10 or 15 minutes to walk to where the headquarters is. And as you make your way through the uh, Grand Thoroughfare to get there, walking primarily west, as you do, speaking of which, there's a change. Um, uh, this is uh, the first time you've been in the Grand Thoroughfare, sort of, as it starts to get uh, dark, except for briefly when you walked back a couple of nights ago. And the streets here... It, and you, you're not sure if it's just because it's nighttime or because if it was a fight day or, or what, but it is. There are tons of people around. Like, oh, still? it's packed. Yeah, like in the streets of the Grand Thoroughfare, like, it's like, this is like just after dinner time on a holiday downtown in a big city. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of people down here. So she sort of uh, leads you through, and there's just a lot of people um, sort of milling about of all, just like anything else in this area, generally nicely dressed, lots of people of varying races and all that jazz. Um, and uh, she leads you through the through the streets to um, an area that you haven't actually been in before that's um, sort of on the western end of the Grand Thoroughfare, up to the north. Um and you see a couple of buildings uh, approaching in the distance. For one, you see a large, um, what is probably the most impressive building you've seen in this city of impressive buildings. Um, marble and brass and gold and silver. And just, it's frankly a little bit, it, it's kind of ostentatious, especially compared to the surroundings, which is saying something. Um, and it's large, has sort of like a, a, a dome set at the top of it um, with a large column set around the side. Um, and up in front of it, sort of this 15 or 20 foot wide space has uh, that you're not sure how long it goes from the front of the building out in front of it, but just sort of a brass archway covers the pathway to the entrance of this building. And then maybe a like a couple of blocks worth next to it with a, a series of like greenway and park area in between it just like greenery in the middle of this city with some pathways and trees and you know flowers and that sort of thing the other side of this greenway is a still attractive building though less ostentatious it seems more functional in nature and she leads you to that one um and as she arrives she says and as you sort of make your way toward it she says Welcome to the headquarters of the elite here in Ildar. Um, I'll be taking you in to see my supervisor, um, Captain Gontar. All right? We'll Sounds see if he can fantastic. For you. Thank you very much. Um, so she leads the four of you into this building. Um, you're, a few of you have been mm -hmm. in a sort of a watch headquarters a couple of times before yes just yeah like it went that, really well um you have been well, in a fine. the last couple times it went fine um, you have been in police headquarters in both corellandil and in dragonix um when you were yeah, in the one city one. watch and uh and whatnot uh, headquarters a few times this building, sure, while well, not as we... nice as the yeah. one in Dragonix, is definitely nicer than the one that was in Perelandale. Um Was Dragonix the one where he met the guy who told Garrick about his, like, the, the uh, mercenaries? Yes. His. Or was that Corellandale? That was Dragonix. Yes! Corellandale was the one where we cast the thunderclap and freaked yes. the earthquake. <laughs> yeah, and... right. And Sonic was in prison, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. the one where, yeah. that was the one where Zarnman's I don't even know what she is anymore. As soon as this place walks, as we walk in, like this place is crap. Corona's better. <laughs> well, no, way better, you guys. Sorry, we'll just go through the. We'll just go through the cells and see if we can find you another girlfriend. 
Whoa! Like I am in a committed hey. relationship. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> and he's also like looking around like, I love my family. <laughs> She's so great. <laughs> Eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> I I strongly doubt they know each other. You have no idea what women are like. <laughs> yeah, I've got no clue. <laughs> I take offense to that kind of stereotype of my gender, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> As is Bree. <laughs> oh God. Uh, golf clap. Yeah, but I mean, so, golf clap. Elite, right? <laughs> like crazy. What's going on? So Captain Gontar, right? Cool. What's he like? And I slink away to the back. <laughs> So she leads you uh, through um, <laughs> sort of like a waiting hall to an office in the to an office in the back where she knocks on the door. Captain, got some folks here to see you about a uh, disturbance that happened and in the arena today. Wanted to get some information. Uh, you hear on the other side of the door, sort of a uh, a um, oh, a response. Ah, let them in, please. And she Ooh, opens the door and leads the four of you in. Um, and you see, uh, sitting behind the desk, a um, sort of a very dark-skinned individual um, who is not as tall as a human, but quite as short as a gnome. You think possibly might be uh, one parent of each. Um, so you're not really certain. Maybe it's just a tall gnome. Um, uh, male individual with um, very close cropped uh, brown hair, just like military buzz cut style. Um, and um, he sort of leans sort of the desk. Hello there. So, my name is Captain Gontai. Hi. What, what do you have to uh, inquire about us in the arena? Can I help you in any way? So, hi. First off, Nora Goldleaf. Pleasure to meet you. Um, Good to meet you. Oh, you participated uh, today. Congratulations. I did. Oh, thank you. Very impressive. Well, actually, uh, Zard over here did too. Uh, no, I was in the audience. Um, the watch the Maelstrom though. He's a really wow that guy. Oh yeah, that guy was that guy was pretty good. Yeah. Um, actually, the audience is why we are here. Um, our friend here, Bree. And I'm pointing down towards Bree. Um, she was in the audience, and she bumped into this guy. Who, you know, you better tell this story. He was like disguised or something. I I yeah. was in the arena at the time. I missed most of this. I was just minding my own business, watching the match. And this guy, like, well, this lady practically sat on me, it shoved more than me around, you think. bumped right into my lipstick, nearly wrecking it. This is really expensive lipstick. I mean, I was a little bit annoyed, you know, but I was trying to be nice. And, you know, and then I realized this person feels like kind of weird and things were off. I cast a spell magic on it. It was like it's black dragonborn. And oh, he got so mad. I thought he was going to beat me. And I hid and I got away. And then the guards went running after him and he ran. He got out of there so fast. I think he's up to no good. So, let so me what we're trying straight. to do is find this person because we want to find out what's going on and mm. also because the description matches somebody that we're already kind of here to look for anyway. Because mm. um, we let were... Me get this, yeah. Let me get this straight then. Oh. You were sitting in an arena and mm -hmm. someone came up to you and was perhaps a bit rude. Yep. And in response, you decided to cast a spell on them uh, dismissing a disguise or appearances that they were wearing for no reason other than they were rude to you no that's not what it would is. you believe that she's done this before it's not going to help her case very much <laughs> oh i'm sure that's well, not what i said what did you I say then i said when i went to try like to protect me. myself from what exactly well this person's butt coming to sit down on top of me and crush me i don't think someone sitting on your lap is going to injure you not this is the city of gnomes. There's small people here. You're not going to get hurt by someone sitting on you, dear. I would, could have been. What I am concerned about is the use of magic to 
unlawfully uh, remove someone's perfectly lawful magical uh, cover up of appearance. There are perfectly valid reasons which one might use magic in public, and mm -hmm. dispelling it for no apparent reason with no with limited provocation is not something I'm inclined to take terribly kindly. That's entirely fair. No, it's not. It kind of is. Is it not? No. He leans forward and sort of puts a hand in his chin. Would you care to enlighten me? What was your name? Bob. <laughs> Bob. Jesus Christ! Would you care to enlighten me, Bob, as to why wow. this is unfair? I already told him your name. Because <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I was sitting there minding my own business. Mm. I was attacked. Question. No, you weren't. I okay, can yes. I... Sorry. He's behind a desk sitting in a chair. Is there mm -hmm. a chair on the other side of the desk? No. Damn. There's a few, like, sort of against the wall, but no one's using them at the moment. Okay, can I... Okay, I want to do you know how I explained that we were already kind of here to find this person? Yeah. Can I elaborate on that? As they're doing that, Carter so... grabs a chair, puts it in front of the desk, and like sits on it like reverse style. <laughs> Alright, kids, let's Super laugh. Cool. Super cool. And then, <laughs> while putting the hood back, takes out like a a piece of a separate piece of parchment and it puts it down on the table and it's got like the uh the rose and laura crest on it which i haven't made which i probably should do mm -hmm. but Just make it puts that down in front of him and says we're here because we were sent here by garrick rose and laura okay you were I myself was just trying to watch the match and all minding my own business. I, okay, look, no, we're being honest here. I was sent with, okay, this is a team effort between the Rosenlores of Ravenhold, as well as myself and Zarnback here, who are on, sort of, on assignment from the Guard of Draconix. We're tracking somebody who has attacked both cities. He's, like, Captain Carter over here is kind of our ranking leader. Um, he is? He's, what? He's the, rank, he's the ranking leader out of the four of us. What? Yeah. Give me that we, crap. I thought we talked about this on the ship. No, you, you and I, no, Zard, you and I both count as, like, sergeant. He is technically a captain of the guard, so he's a little bit higher. I'm a sea captain. Yeah. That, those are not the same thing. We went over this. Oh my god. Really? We're going to go Army Navy here? While, while they're... Like, can we please move on from the dispute? Okay. Look, Fine. let me make something very Cops? clear to you. No, no, no. I will be speaking now. Go for it. Let me make something very clear to you. And then I immediately recognized you, Bree, from your incident at the arena with the firing the magic into the air. No, so no, yes, what about? I'm not terribly inclined to trust what you have to say after recklessly expelling damaging magic in the midst of an innocent crowd of individuals. You know what? I don't. Wait, you did what? Stop! Stop! Stop it! Don't antagonize. So we should be going. Carter does not move. Sir, I, guess, I recognize yeah. your position. I am not here to cause any damage or anything bad. He We're takes the here... strip of paper, Carter, and... Salandra, check this with the books. Will you make sure it's legitimate? And the uh, half orc walks away from the doorway, snags the paper, and walks out, shutting the door. Continue. We have walked around your city, and there are necromancers. It's a little off putting because we're not used to it. He's a cleric and points to Zarn, so it's really not 
cool for him, but it's a thing here. And we get this person we're after is a necromancer. We're not after him because he's a necromancer. We're after him because he essentially went into a crypt, turned all of the dead bodies into zombies, and sent them up, and they just went crazy in Dragonic. He did necromancy with the purpose of causing damage, causing harm, and just chaos. That's why we're after him. Who is him exactly? I keep forgetting his first name. Tillix? I know it's Tillix. No, is that another name? Trice. Tillix is his last Silurix, name. Silurix Tillix. There you go. That Tillix. one. Tillix, I think. So there is Tillis. That's who we're after. All right. And what exactly does this have to do with the, with why you came here about this individual sitting on your friend's lap, causing her to inappropriately dispel a perfectly legal article of magic and then fire off dangerous magic in the midst of a crowd? Exactly. Nothing. Well, no, we saw him in the crowd. The basic she thing was we were all in the arena. The she was watching out. Uh, saw Tillix writing something on parchment. Oh my god, this guy just uh, tried to do the rainbow thing on his back. It's amazing. Dispelled it. Amazing. Realized who it was and then tried to cast the spell at him. Are you sure you're not related to Garrick? It's actually amazing. This makes me so fucking happy. Do I roll a persuasion? Yes, you do. You're the one talking. All right, all right. I my thing up. My persuasion. Boy, hope for a high one, guys. Nope. That's a four <laughs> plus a two is a six. We have not heard anything. From the officials in Dragonix about this in about this supposed incident, <clears throat> nor do we have any information that this individual is here. I fail to see why we should listen to you, who are at least one of you is known already to be making trouble. I mean, he's got us there. Even if you are legitimately it? from the Rosen Laws, which you very well may be, I have no reason to listen to you. Your Wait, evidence. Do you know the Rosen Laws? Is... No, I don't. No. He gave me the crest. Pay attention. Yes. No, I. I am paying attention. Arrow. Nobody, nobody here will. I would be surprised. Anyway. So, purely out of curiosity, while we're waiting for your assistant, uh, sergeant, I... Lieutenant. Lieutenant, thank you. Uh, while we're waiting for your lieutenant to confirm the crest, um, purely out of curiosity, um, have you lived here long? Yes. So is that like, yes, I've lived here all my life, or yes, I've moved here recently? Because I'm asking because your accent is kind of different from everybody else I've met, and I find that super fascinating. Yeah, because the other people all sounded more friendly. Well, no, that's that's that. This is actually fairly normal. Um, do you remember the? Do you remember um, what's her name? The noble in Dragonix? Yeah, they were all snotty there. They, oh, like one of seven was. The other six were all really nice people. Remember that lady in the graveyard? Yeah, she was a dick, but the other five were awesome. DM question. Yes. Do we still have the letter? Which one? The one that, uh, oh no, Alana didn't technically write one. Nope. Damn. <laughs> I have that would be helpful here. I have the amulet of. Um, oh no, I don't have it anymore. Oh, I no, I don't have it anymore. Um, I gave it to a small child. Oh, you did. Technically, I have a garbage pin that's shaking. I don't think that's going to be helpful. 
Um, as you guys are sort of trying to Instead sit of there and, 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 and sort of making small talk and looking through things, and he's just sitting behind the desk looking very unamused. Why did you know, get that bottle of King Armand's Meraki and start Please drinking don't. it? We're in public. I don't. You're on very thin ice. Um, Bree, Bree just go to the tavern, have a drink. No. You won't be leaving anytime soon. You will leave when I tell you to leave. <laughs> Especially her. Uh, the door opens. In action. The door opens ready a in little action. bit. Uh, sure. What is it? I'm just gonna ready an action to dimension door like Zarn and I out if things go like if this suddenly takes a strong left turn. Okay. Fair enough. I've got Dimension Door, too. <laughs> yeah, so you take Carter, I'll take Zard. No, I can only take me. Oh, shit, right. <laughs> we'll just ditch Carter. No, we need, Carter needs to shrink. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> at this point, as, <laughs> as, as, uh, <clears throat> after he says that, um, the knock on the door. Captain, can I come in? Yes, you may. And the lieutenant enters uh, with the... Uh, uh, the parchment that you had slid over, uh, Carter. And she walks in and closes the door. It's legitimate, Captain. Matches the one in the book to the T. Very well. Thank you. Um, he it's takes the, uh, the parchment and slides it back over to you, Carter. All right. That just means the representative of the Rosenholz. That's one mark in your favor, the first one. Thank you. Why did you drag us here again, Lauren? I offered to let you guys go somewhere else. I, if you I, decided feel, to like, follow me. I feel like the best thing we can do now is hope is this guy dies. Request. I can hear you. Look, man, this is... This happens let, all let the time, this honestly. Out, please. As a personal favor to me, please let us just hash this out. Thank you. You like you can't even see the irises of his eyes when he rolls them at that point. I'm just gonna fluff up my cloak and like puff it up slightly and turn away. It's like a slightly angry bird, just fluff up a little bit and turn away from him. So um, I feel I feel like our last option is at this point to just write a letter to Garrick. What's Garrick gonna do? He's a minor noble. Us? Yeah, but it's still not gonna help us here. Like this guy clearly doesn't want to help us. And I mean, more uh, I I kind of I get him. I get where he's coming from on this. Um, so, at this point, I feel like we just leave and go try and find a guard Dead, we who was leave. already there and wasn't an asshole, um, <laughs> and then try and use that information and then see if we can just find somebody, not this guy, that might actually be able to give us the information. I know, because this guy clearly doesn't care what goes on in this town. No, he clearly doesn't want to help us at all. Like, at all. He's um, probably working for them. Captain Gontar. Um, look, I know you you don't want to help us. That's fine. Would you consider letting us speak to one guard who is at the arena today? Preferably somebody who is at the entrance. Hi. I was at the arena today. There's a reason I recognize her. <laughs> no, I mean somebody who is... Somebody who doesn't already hate us. Because I'm going to be honest, I know we have a hard... I know we don't I come don't across straight at times. I don't dislike you personally. Your friend is breaking Thank laws you? and you're lying to me. What does this mean? You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. I have lied to you the once. Four, the four of you. Oh, yeah, that's true. We did lie to you. Yeah, like, that, that's yeah a, I didn't. That's I told you the point. truth. I didn't yeah, say but in, anything. in general, in general, of the four of us, we have in fact lied to him. He's he's got us there. Stop standing up for him. Are you trying to just like sink into your chair? I didn't say. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't say anything. And I just get further into my chair. 
Yeah, fair, fair enough. Uh, so so I, look. I think the only question I have remaining is what can we do to actually prove to you that what I said is right? What do you need from us? I don't know if you can get me anything to prove it. You might be able to, I don't know. I would need something from an official in Dragonix informing that these attacks occurred. Not to mention no, some in individuals Dragonis. actually here. I did see a black dragonborn individual run out after you fired a blast of energy into the air. He was already running out when I fired the went? blast of energy in the air. I fired the blast of energy in the air to get their attention. Yeah, that is true. We had a whole plan on how to get a hold of each other, and we forgot that we'd be inside. If I was blasting it at somebody, it would have hit someone. Regardless, gone in the air, harmlessly. Discharging dangerous magic in a crowd is not something to be taken lightly, miss. It's not something to be taken with a stick up your butt either. I disagree entirely. Okay, Captain, can I, like, just speak to you off to the side, just me and you? Why? Because if we continue having a conversation, she's still offended, and she's probably going to say something else offensive. No offense for you. Oh no, the criminal is going to say something offensive to me. Whatever shall I do? Okay, look, the sarcasm I'm is, not a criminal, the sarcasm you're just a is jerk. welcome. I'm going to be honest with you, the sarcasm is welcome. I, I do appreciate somebody else who does the same thing I do, I appreciate that. Um... What I'm asking is, is there a way that we can get you to, like, help us? Because <laughs> we need some information, and right now, no offense, but this is, feels like we're just wasting a lot of time. Because it feels like, and forgive me if I'm misreading the situation here. You're yeah. mad at her, she's mad at you. You don't particularly want to help us because she did something horribly illegal. She's mad at you because she doesn't think it was that bad. It wasn't bad at all. Let me That's put fine. it this way. You don't the want best to help thing us, that I recommend fine. that you can do at the moment is to leave the station immediately. Otherwise, I will be asking the lieutenant to arrest your friend. Okay, bye! I stayed up and leave. Yeah, that's fair. Yep. I'm the first one. I actually... You can Car arrest me all you want. Carter, as soon as he <laughs> says <laughs> that... Carter stands right up, grabs Bree, and then just runs out. <laughs> like, throws her over his shoulder, and then just, like, <laughs> runs out. I'm three blocks down the road. Like, peace! Kim to go to her while I'm... Like, okay, Carter, I'm I'm Car I'm Carter went out... alone now. Carter uh, went out um... so quick, there was actually a billow of dust <laughs> behind him. <laughs> Bree's pretty late. While I am apparently alone here... Um, Hooray. Two questions for you. I feel like I have a, I have enough time for one question, correct? Hooray. Do you know someone in town who would be willing to help us? Question one. Probably. I can't give you any specific names. Fair enough. Question two. Um, if I was to teleport out of here right now, would you be upset? Yes. Do I'm going to get up and walk calmly out the door. <laughs> I think you should have teleported. And as I stand up, I'm so going to cast... No, I think I'm just going to stand up and walk out politely. <laughs> and then as soon as I'm out the door, I'm going to get... As soon as I'm out the door, I'm going to press and hit a whole bunch of sparks behind me. And run away. <laughs> <laughs> Not like offensive sparks, just like glitter. And then run away. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Sarn shaped clouds. Out of my ears, yeah. sparks aren't offensive, but mine are. That doesn't seem because right. yours is a damaging spell and mine's prestidigitation. Quads, oh, I would like it. I would like it to be known that I said nothing that whole time. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. I'm just saying. So when this, when they eventually hunt us down in a posse, I said nothing. I was polite the whole time. I still. I was, was rude. I still I really hard polite. into that chair though. You're calling me a criminal. Have to you, that shit. you were, you did cast an offensive spell in a crowd of people. Did I he see any wrong. sign saying, "Ooh, you can't cast Firebolt anywhere"? <laughs> I, 
sure? There's no sign here that says I can't fire a gun in the air. What are you there talking about? I can't fire a gun in the air. There was nothing to tell me I couldn't do that. They should apologize to me and give me money. I don't think this will hold up in court. As much as I would like to see you argue this court case, I don't think it would hold up in court. <laughs> like, I would love for this entire campaign to take, like, this entire, like, adventure we're on to take a strong left-hand turn and just become an episode just of Law Order. Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> Objection! Yeah, I would You're love to just for that. That that doesn't work in Phoenix, right? And it doesn't work here. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what this game is for. Yeah. That is Zarn right now. Uh, as, as soon as we get like four or five blocks away from the station, Carter stops, puts down Bree, and just goes, I need a drink. I'm done with this for now. And then just walks towards the tower. Oh, uh, I need out me. for a drink too. I emerge from like a barrel. I'm like, me too. And I just. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell yeah. <laughs> So basically, we learned we can't trust the law in this town because they're all crooked. That is the, that is the opposite of what we learned. Well, that's exactly what we learned. He was no, they're like aggressively the lawful. They are obsessively lawful here, man. He's probably telling Tillich where we are right now. If he is, and I'm not saying he is, if he is, I will give you a hat. Ooh, I will cool buy thing. you a really nice ah! hat. That can says Bree was it, right. And it will say Bree like was right. Can it be like a with lots gold. of feathers? Absolutely. What do you? Who do you think I am? Of course it will be that. Oh, awesome! I and can't then stitched like across the front in like gold fucking lettering, it's going to say Bree was right. Awesome! Can I pick the font? Yes. Like, it will I'm always like, be papyrus. I'm sorry. It's going to be papyrus. I'm okay with papyrus. I didn't Good. know what it was until yesterday, but now because it's either that or comic sense. And now because I've discovered that people are offended by it, I, I love it. It's just poor design. Wow. We need lots of drinks. I mean, I just can't this imagine. This is a good gift. I want to keep this gift. I mean, why did this call? Come on, criminal, Lauren. I mean, should I, I just sit yeah, there and take that? Good. He wasn't being nice to me at all. Given that we desperately needed this information, maybe for like five minutes, and then we could have just gone in exactly the same thing just to be dickheads. So I tell you, I didn't like him. What was his name? Gon Gunter. Gontar. 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 Yeah. Jerkface. God. Captain Jerkface. God. I mean, and he seems to think you know, it's going to make me walk around and, and disguises and hiding who you are. Uh, so. Dude, the city's okay with people carry, or like keeping zombies with them. I don't think they care about a couple of these little disguise spells. Yeah, but my god! Cast a firebolt in the air! To be fair, you can kill a man with a firebolt. Raising dead! You can't really kill Water. somebody with a, like... <coughs> oh, yeah. damn it! I was damaged drinking my water! Firebolt does. It's like hardly anything at all. Maybe 20 damage if you were really lucky. That's enough to kill, like, four grown men. You're just gonna be able to spit up my water over the computer. You don't have to be so lucky. It's usually more like four or five. Cast a firebolt! That's still enough to kill a man. <laughs> like... I'm just saying, one of those is enough to kill the average, like, schmo on the street. Well, they should be a little hardier. I... That, Did you notice I didn't even care about all the thunderclaps I was doing? Yeah, that's surprising. I'm so surprised they didn't mention that. Yeah. They got their priorities screwed up. Maybe they just have a phobia of fire here. I mean, if she should just teach me a cantrip that I can use. It's not offensive. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, Zed! I am way ahead of you. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm yelling. Oh. What? Zed! What? What can we do from this point? I'm out of ideas. We're getting a drink. That's a good start, but where are we going from that? Just come to my voice. I... 
I do every night. I am not a criminal. <laughs> I thought I might say something too. I almost did. I'm gonna walk towards him. <laughs> you cannot get away from me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely see you. <laughs> You're just like hiding in a barrel. Even at disadvantage, you see him. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Where did this Nick That doesn't come hit from? me. I know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I didn't know. That doesn't hit me. <laughs> and also, strongly considering counterspell? <laughs> just like, it's just glowing on my finger, and I'm just like, alright. No, he can't so get eventually, me. Eventually, um, the three of you make it back to the tavern. Yeah. You know what? You Do they have a bouncer? Do they have a bouncer? Nope. Okay, can I walk up to the bartender then? Sure. Hey, man. Um, just uh, out of curiosity, has anybody come by asking about us? And this is actually the same woman that was here. Uh, on, like, oh, I was really hoping it was. That was giving that gave you the free rooms and gave Bree like a whole bunch of drinks and shit. I was really um, hoping it was. was. She was awesome. Yeah. Um. I don't, not to my knowledge, why is someone looking for you? Uh, no, but somebody in our party may have upset both the guards and a black dragonborn. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that would have been. So if a black dragonborn comes by, um, can you let us know? Because I would like to take it out of here. Or and make sure lady. that if we do get into a fight, that it doesn't happen in here. Or an elf lady. Yeah. A black dragonborn or an elven woman. It's the same person. Yeah. yeah but apparently it's perfectly thing. fine to walk around like a blue elven woman and a really black dragonborn. Of course it is. There's nothing wrong with someone looking like is, what they want to look like. completely fine here. Also, wow. Just fucking wow. That took a real left turn there. Uh... Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, just if you see that, either Black Dragonborn or Elven Woman who comes in asking about us, can you please make sure that we know? Because, again, I, don't, I like this place. I don't want somebody in our group to accidentally burn it to the ground. I don't know what you're talking about. She sort of raises her eyebrows like... It hasn't happened before. It probably won't happen. To, it's the first time. I'm just trying to decide if that was a, a threat. That was not a threat. Okay. That was not a threat. That was a commentary on somebody's actions today. Not All saying right. Who. Don't listen to him. I merely followed the plan as per him. And okay, don't try to blame everything on me. We're going to go over this plan, and we're going to figure out a more foolproof system. Just in case somebody ends up indoors. Because apparently, no one ever thought of this. I should have just followed him on my own. I mean, that would have been more helpful. And we wouldn't have been, like, it pissed off the guard captain. Of the guard. Anyway, can I get a drink? Or He's going to stop off. Can I buy her one, too? When she eventually decides to come back. I'm not coming back. I'm going to go find the Black Dragon one. Alright. Uh, yeah, you can order a drink or several Norn if you'd like. <laughs> yes. I would like to order <laughs> just like a bottle of whiskey. I'm laughing at this fucking gift now. God damn it. <laughs> just a <laughs> bottle of something. Just something that I can that I can keep to myself. And if Bree legitimately doesn't come back, I <laughs> yeah. want something that I can take with me on the walk. Yeah. Um, she picks out she picks out a bottle of liquor and uh, gets it to you for um, ten gold for the bottle. Hmm. That's fine. It's a lot. 
It's a lot of electro. The whole bottle. I mean, still, that's like 30 electro, man. Yeah, it's a lot. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I believe like, like twenty two. You motherfuckers like is appropriate here. Hey. <laughs> someday, someday we're gonna get Electrum in a treasure chest, and I'm going to be so happy. I'm literally hey. never going to give you Electrum. It is never going to happen. I'm gonna find out what it is and fucking make it. Yep. I'm a blacksmith. I can make it. You're like fucking taco trying to make tacos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a Wikipedia entry on what Electrum is. This makes my life a little bit easier. Alloy it's a, made it's a hybrid of, it's an, yeah, it's oh, an, it's an alloy, alloy of gold, gold and silver. silver with trace amounts of copper and other metals. Yep. Anyway. It's Electrum. So you need your drink. Um, yes. What are you doing? She's stomping off. She's actually just gonna go wandering the city looking for a black dragonborn endlessly. Okay. Aimlessly. Carter, what are you doing? I'm gonna find another tavern. And she's gonna be <laughs> and she's drinking her king's rocky. Wow. Yeah, no. Carter's been Carter's Fucking been gone for wow. like for like twenty minutes at this point and none of you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I even yeah, specifically right. said the three of you arrive at the bar. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Oh fuck, I'm an asshole. How many uh, of three? Fuck. Do they have? Am I just uh, myself in this bar now? Do they have open carry laws <laughs> here when it comes to alcohol? Mm, you've seen people walking around with beers and stuff. All right, I grab a gigantic <laughs> bottle of whatever, and I want to go down to the docks and just kind of sit in the water and drink. Okay. You do that. So I'm gonna... Um, Carter, presumably you're just sitting in a different tavern somewhere, having a drink. Actually, I kind of had the same idea as Arlen. <laughs> okay. Get a bottle and go back to the ship. God damn it! I was gonna say I was gonna go drink on the ship. <laughs> you <laughs> don't do it. You don't do it. You don't know. guys all, like, <laughs> one at a time, several minutes apart, all sort of end up just sitting on the, on the dock right by the ship, like, feet, like, dangling into the water. All like with a paper bag with a mug in it, with like a <laughs> bottle of water in it. <laughs> oh, I'm like I'm trying to sit in the water if I can. Oh well, yeah, that's fair. You're you're you can yeah. You can find throw a, a straw in it. Like, how are you planning to drink this? Actually, I'm. Are you not I'm, familiar I'm, with the paper bag around the alcohol thing? I no, did. I know that part. That part's fine. Yeah. I'm asking how he's going to drink while underwater. No, I'm not completely he's not, underwater. He's he's like oh. he's up, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I'm sitting under the dock you guys are on. <laughs> but you don't know him there. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, actually, that's probably reasonable. <laughs> just like, <laughs> Norrin walks down, just like, really quietly to the boat, sees Carter sitting there, and like, fuck. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, Carter! Buddy! Hi! Carter was facing that way, he turns around. Hey! All right, fine. Be that way. I'm going to drink at the crow's nest. Can you guys shut up and try to drink Just down here? Climbing up. <laughs> well, look. Fine. I'm climbing up to the crow's nest at this point. All right. <laughs> While I'm up there, can I watch for either a firebolt flying in the air or three flying in the air? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you may. We'll pick up that okay. All right, Bree, what are you doing as you wander the city angrily? Drinking my king's milky. All right. Ooh, shit, that shit's expensive. Yeah, yeah, getting good and drunk. As you well, wander about. I'm just about. wandering up and down alleyways, and I'm grumbling about stupid Norn. Sell me out. What a jerk. Never yeah, going to a police station with him again. Hi! Duh. Fuck! <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> From across the city, you just hear. But, <laughs> just echoing there were buses the in this world. He'd have thrown me right under it. <laughs> 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 right under that wagon wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Practically keel hauled me. Wow. I. 
Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just getting good and drunk and stomping mm -hmm. up and down the streets and. All right. Um. He has absolutely zero of... intention of coming back. Nothing of any real. Uh, I don't want to do anything of any particular note tonight. And she, right in the middle of some seedy alley, she will cast Leonin's tiny hat. And go to sleep. On the streets, like a hobo. I would like to cast Create Water and make it rain on Carter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck, I think that didn't even hit the slash there. Carter. Carter suddenly a... just... uh... It's not like a delusion, but definitely some rain just appears out of nowhere and just goes shh. You're uh Is you're it constant wet now. or just it's, like it says it rains uh in a thirty foot cube. It's it's ten gallons worth of water. So just yeah, like... so you so a thirty foot cube, ten gallons, it, it lasts for about like five or six seconds. And you get like wet and then it stops. Man, this weather's <laughs> nuts, right? <laughs> wow! Oh, Zorn's, Zorn's, Zorn's drunk again. I'm gonna. Nor is attempting to create an umbrella. <laughs> just I'm just to... in case. Uh, I'm gonna cast minor illusion and have a voice whisper in Zarn's ear and say something like, "I'm watching you." Jesus Christ. I immediately go underwater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Potential physics question here. At least I'm yeah. If you turn the bottle mind. upside down <laughs> while in the water and stuck a straw in it, would the contents leak out, or would the pressure between the two be equal enough that you could drink out of it? He has control water, so he can do. That's whatever true. He would be able to just do this anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna Google this myself. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. That's a good question that I don't know the answer to. Time for an experiment. BB Robbins and he's filling up his bag. This might be the water. weirdest question I've ever I've Googled in the Oh week. damn it! I was gonna write it back. <laughs> Being a 29 year old, I know way too many SpongeBob references than I should. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> all right so with eventually eventually the three of you all pass out sort of in the ship vicinity Underwater. uh brie passed out in her tiny hut on the street yep um and we'll go ahead and take a break uh overnight like so we'll be back in a few minutes uh stream team as a just okay. a potential thing uh the answer is yes Good to know. Yeah. Now you know. See, watching this is educational as well yeah. as really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and mostly dumb. We're yeah. going to break now.
we're back. I was gonna say, BB was lucky it didn't go live a few seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I have said much worse things on like <laughs> on streams and on videos. I have no doubt. <laughs> Wait, Quad, you're back, right? <laughs> All right. Oh, he's making scratch uh, noises. Oh, well, well, he was back. Well, and then <laughs> what? Uh, we back. fucked up. We're back. We're live. Right now. <laughs> oh, oh, we're live. Yeah. Hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> we we did do that. Welcome back. Yeah. I'm making eyebrows at you. It's very sexy. Quick, I know you can't see. Is gone. <laughs> I'm, gone. I'm sure there's plenty of Twitter. <laughs> I'm gone. That was a really good That's performance true. check. Can you say that? Oh, we're doing performance tricks? No. Oh, he wasn't very good. He wasn't paying attention, so I did a performance check. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I think I did a jump performance. Shit. I am rolling like no shit tonight. God damn. Yeah. yeah. It's not been a good rolling night for you guys. No. It's not been a good night for any of your characters, to be honest, in any way. No. I like this town too. I, I still like this town. town. I need to go back to, to be that. Fair, you did break the law and he didn't arrest you. Ah. So, you know, I know that Bree's not going to see it that way. But... No. No, Bree doesn't see it that way at all. She didn't run at him and arrested her, honestly. BB, are you sitting on your mic? No. It's just picking up random shit, and I don't know why. That's what I hear. Yeah, I don't you're know why. You're taking your shirt, and you're stuff. rubbing it all on your mic. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, what sort of weird kinky stuff is going on over there? Maybe. Battery in my head. Oh, I, I will be back in a second. I think something, that's what it is. Something, 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 big head, something. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Be that guy. <laughs> Um, are we actually live? Is that is that? Yeah, 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 no, we good. are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Just making sure. Because you were there, and then you sort of disappeared. I went to go the close the door. That's all. Yeah. yeah anyway. Here, I thought we were friends. Yeah. Uh, also, back in a second, I'm just gonna change the batteries in my headphones. See if that helps. Okay. You left the mic on the whole time. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, that is so me. Totally. That's yeah, that's a fantastic gift. <laughs> that is definitely true. <laughs> There'd be a flipping of a bird in there somewhere too. I was trying to find some. I was trying to find something like that too, but I couldn't find one quick enough. Well, it's sort of hard with a little girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> For reference, I global muted him. <laughs> Until he's back, because holy oh. crap. <laughs> Alright, so it's a new day. Had all my spells back. Mm-hmm. So weird. We do all get a long rest. Good, now I have all my fireballs. <laughs> fireballs are kind of bad and limited ones. Just as soon as you wake up, just firebolt the air. Right in the middle of her Liam and Sunny Hut, that will surely go well. I have awoken! <laughs> Probably should stick out of the hut. To do it right in front of the police station. <laughs> That's some fucking, like... I don't know, man. So we have a plan for today? Nope. Huh. I myself am planning on pouting. <laughs> As a tradition. That's valid. Honestly, part of me just wants to write to Garrick. <laughs> Tell him we came here, shit went right, and we need help. Well, man, I could do that right so, now. Something that you would know, Carter, that, that Carter would know, Garrick and Alana are not in a great position to help. Like... They're still, like, rebuilding the treasury. 
they are busy like with the day-to-day -day stuff and the Rosenlords and Ravenhold just don't have like a ton of political clout, especially on this continent. No. So like you could let him know, but the response would basically be like, sorry. <laughs> and like you would Carter would know those things. He'd be aware of the the relative amount of handiness. Yeah. <laughs> that that Derek would be in this situation. Well, I mean, this is the whole reason why I was sent over here. You know, I want to deal with this. I want to try and find a temple of pamphlets. I'm gonna try to go to the big guy. See if I can get some help. Okay. Are we still waiting on? Is BB like? He's fixing his. I Google muted him and I typed in roll twenty yeah. chat to type when he was good, but maybe he didn't see it. I don't know. Well, he can hear us regardless. Yeah. He's got his thing on, so. There we go. There go. Unmute him. I Hi. have been here the whole time and talking, and apparently. Um, thought you were you reacting know? to me. No. Nope. <laughs> we're, we're very good actors, <laughs> can't you tell? Because you, you said you were going to change your headphone thing because of all the yeah, rest. I just turned, I turned the headphones off and went to switch. No, you back, didn't. So. You didn't yeah, turn them off. You, really you did not. Uh, okay, so apparently that didn't turn them off. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> what I was going to say is, yeah, um, while, yeah, I was going to say time update things. Um, we've got a week left, so we have to re-up our birth rental for the boat. Um, and we should probably also go check in with Gorel at some point, are things I'm thinking of. Honestly, what else left is... What's else left to do here? I mean, I could pray to Avera or go try and like find a priest of Deandra and very, very casually try and get information. Was Garel the bestiary guy? Because only have to check. Yeah, with he was the guy that. Yeah. Yeah, we have to check with him eventually too, right? Yeah, I I want to go over that way. Yeah, I I definitely want to check out a temple first if I can, and then yeah. um. Mm -hmm. Um, we can do that. Well, I mean, unless you guys can do that now. So, the four of you all sort of eventually stir and wake up, all sort of having fallen asleep in various locales. In three of you on or near the ship, and a fourth one somewhere in the quays, in an alleyway. Um, we'll go ahead and start with Bree. Bree, you wake up with a killer headache and what you're pretty sure is a pool of your vomit a few feet away from you. Gross. What would you like to do? Well, I'm gonna get out of the hut so then it'll disappear. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go in the upper direction of where I think that Norm would go. Where? What direction is that? So, I am going to go... What's in this town? We don't have a whole zone map of this place, do we? No, so the, the general like districts in the town are the quays on the east and the coast, the Grand Thoroughfare, which is sort of in the center, and then proper, which is on the west side. Mm -hmm. And then you know that the arena is like on the north side of... Uh, the Grand Thoroughfare. Yeah, well, she's gonna go try to cheer herself up by taking a look at the automatons first. Okay, so you're heading out to proper? Yeah. Okay. But if she sees Norn and them, she's gonna duck out of the way. Okay. What are the other three of you doing since you all wake up in relatively close proximity to one another? I'm gonna basically just do the same thing, update them on dates and times, and then suggest that we go over towards Garel. But I'm gonna follow. I... Yeah, I guess I'll follow. Um, also, um, could it be possible on the way there to stop by and buy, like, a little mini journal? Yeah, you can pick up, like, a notebook. That's That'll cost you, like, for, like, a, a, an average one, if you don't want anything, like... Fancy leather bounder embossed or, or like fancy like script or embossed just, or anything. Just that's something like... for like sketches because I was gonna start doing like blacksmithing stuff and I have some ideas I wanted to write down. 
Yeah, that's like five silver. Okay, so like one electric. Got it. Yeah, that's about the conversion on that one, yeah. Carter's gonna stay behind <clears throat> and work on the quilt. <clears throat> okay. Every now and then taking a swig from his algorithm. Alright, if okay. anything goes wrong, we'll get Zarn to send you. Yeah, that can work. Cool. Alright. All right. Also, speaking of which quads, in, in terms of the sketch ideas, should I send them to you outside of game? Yes, please. Okay, cool. He... You did... Yeah, you picked up some blacksmithing in the hiatus, yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. Um. Okay. So Norton's on. You're heading to Garel's, correct? Just straight there. Yep. Yes. Okay. And Bree, you're. Are you looking for the shop <laughs> where you had purchased your automatons, or you're just going to look at? Yeah, I just want to go look at them. Oh, or any okay. of them. They did make me happy. So. Okay. So you make your way to proper to the place where you you know that you um, where the automatons are, um. Finding yourself at, um, oh shoot, I didn't write down what it's called. Hold on. I was the name no. of the first. Yeah. I remember the first names, I don't remember the last name. Give me like a second and I'll have it. I just need to pull out the right document. No problem. Uh, okay, yeah, so you make your way over to, uh, Rodon Workshop, um, where you purchased the, uh, pair of automatons that uh, you were looking for. Um, are you going to go inside, or...? Yeah. Okay. You go inside, and uh, at this point in the morning, you see um, the two gnomish individuals and the one uh, tall brass automaton in between them um, still sort of just doing uh, sort of assistant work, grabbing tools for them, that sort of thing, as uh, the female... <laughs> sibling um calls out for them uh coda was her name as you walk in she sort of uh straightens up and turns hello there hello. welcome welcome hello uh we're still quite a ways away from your order being ready are you here for something in particular I just wanted to look because I'm feeling down today, and you know what? Your shot makes me smile. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm sorry that you're feeling down, but feel free to um sit in, in in as long as you like. Just you know, don't touch anything. But you're welcome here as long as you want to be here. Thank you. You're Go really on. nice. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go sit in a corner and just look at the automaton. Okay. Sounds good. Um, it is actually kind of really fascinating as you've never encountered this before. Just sort of, you can see as you sit there and watch, um, you can see at some of the joints like little um, gears that move consistently, small bursts of steam that come out from them. You can tell as someone who's attuned to magic and the sort of magical power that um, that makes it run effectively. Um, it's um it's really interesting on a whole lot of levels. Um, Norin's arm. Feel at peace. Yeah. Norin's arm. Um, mm -hmm. You guys head out, making your way west through the Grand Thoroughfare and through proper. Zarn, yes. or not Zarn. So both of you get to uh, Girls Beast Cherry. Um, once you get into proper itself, let me switch the things. Mm -hmm. um, so once you make your way into um, proper and get sort of uh, in a little ways towards Girls Beast Cherry. You arrive at the shop um, with the large uh, glass dome sort of at the corner. That's the opening. Um, you sort of uh, make your way up to the door and open it, and you see sitting behind the counter is Gorel. 
who as you walk in sort of looks at him and is like, What? Hello there. Um, why is there only two of you? Did one's drinking and the other one's working on a quilt. And in an order right. that may surprise you. It's good to know that it's nothing bad then. Oh no, they're fine. Need some. One of them is fine. We haven't seen the other one in about 12 hours. She's probably fine. That feels like a concern, seeing as well. Oh, what? Right. You need something? You're probably fine. Uh, we wanted to know if you had heard anything since yesterday. Because just about all of our leads have backfired horribly. Um, and we're running out of ideas. Well, let me think. I sent, uh, I sent a, uh, courier over to, to, um, our friend to yeah. let him know that the, uh, whip had been purchased back. Yep. Um, so I haven't seen him here, no one inquiring about it, or anything similar. Um... So, nothing new as of yet here. Okay. Alrighty. How about what, how on your end? You you participated in the fighting tournament, mm -hmm. correct? We correct? did. Yes, we, we did. did. Uh, and actually, the two of us won. Oh, well great. done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Um, somebody managed to like take his down in 12 fucking seconds um which is genuinely impressive that yeah. is quite impressive yeah, well like, done. Mine, mine took a little bit longer but yeah pretty great um so uh what yeah so while we were doing that um the the female one of us um was up in the crowd because she didn't want to get in on the fights and she was trying to keep an eye on the crowd and actually found our friend uh, who was at the time in the disguise of an elven um, oh, and what? Dispel shot a firebolt into the air trying to get our attention which would have worked oh. if we hadn't been inside at the time yeah I know we, we didn't think it through don't give me that look we didn't no, think it, it through we're working on a better you. plan. We're working well, on a better plan. We're a lot of stress right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being understanding. I I actually genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. It's fine. Um, I had a lot of practice comforting my husband the other night. After I informed him that, you know, evil necromancer might be coming for me. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, sorry about that. Again, still oh, very, fault. very sorry about that. No, it's Don't a little bit our fault. It Keep is a little bit before you change my mind. Keep talking. Okay, fine. Uh, so, she went up, found him in the crowd, shot a firebolt into the air, pissed off the guards, as one does, uh, dispelled magic, found out it was actually him, uh, and then tried to get our attention by standing outside the thunderclapping, which worked, and did get our attention. But then we couldn't find the friend. Um, and then, so we thought that maybe we would go talk to the guards, and we met Captain Gontar, who was not helpful, um, and then that didn't really help all that much, and then Bree kind of stormed off, which is partially my fault, I think. Um, and then the rest of us kind of just sat around afterwards because we were out of ideas, and then woke up in the morning and thought, hey, maybe Gorel's heard something, so we decided to go over here, and then we haven't. We heard nothing. Um, so now I'm back to being completely out of ideas. Well, are you still trying to? What exactly are you trying to do here? What What's the end? What's the end game? You know, I'm honestly not even sure anymore. I thought well, it was what originally was it? just find find Tillix and basically <laughs> make sure he wasn't trying to kill anybody. Um. But at this right. point, we've had no success on that. I mean, and I'm kind of so, just out of ideas on what to do, and I'm at the point that maybe I just go back. Like, maybe we fair. just fucking ditch it and go home. Because well, I'm out of ideas. 
I don't know, because he obviously has an interest in the arena. Bree told yeah. us he, was, he under the, whatever his disguise was, was writing down names for a reason. Uh, that so, was the other person, though. There was two. Oh, I One of was... them was writing... No, he was writing, writing down names. names. He was just staring at us. Oh, was he writing names, too? He was writing in a language he could not read. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the other one was doing list of names. Oh, were, the, were those two... I, I forget, were those two together? No. I don't think so. Oh, okay. They were not. Not to yeah. your knowledge. They were sitting in different places. Okay, never, never mind that. Okay. Alright, well that's... Yeah, like, he was paying attention to us, and he was writing some information down, but I mean, even that, like... We got basically not that much. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I don't think somebody like that who genuinely waits well already. Like, he came to me for supplies, and that's it. And he came to me once, and since then we've communicated by courier. He hasn't been back to the shop himself since the first time. He's not trying to be a public figure, as it were. So him yeah. being at the fights in a disguise tells me he's looking for something. Probably you, given that was why I told him descriptions of you when I said that you had yeah. purchased the web back. Yeah. So maybe he'll come find us. It's possible. So I guess if we if we do something to make ourselves known to the city and make us easier to find, maybe we can bait him into coming to find us. That would make sense. Although that is entirely up to you guys. I'm not putting myself out there. I've got some other... I will, there. just for the sake of trying to push this forward. Right. Just to see some kind of progress, I will happily put myself in that position. You go right now. I'll be there to what, back yeah. it up, but I'm, I'm not What do you have in mind? Uh, when are the... When's the next tournament? Two and a half weeks. Yeah, that's a long time. If you were trying to make a name for yourself in this city, what would you do? Yeah, you know, there's been a spate of wakens and vandalism recently in Quapa. I think there's going to be some sort of discussion on it at the legislative chambers. We are probably not welcome in those. That? Uh, no, they're I, open I like to the public. No, are no, the, the, public. the captain of the guard is not a fan of us right now, and I'm pretty sure if he sees us, he's going to arrest us, and we don't really want that to happen. Well, maybe I could go then, because I don't think he has a problem with me. I think at this point he just doesn't like us as a group, because, like, just... he was not, yeah... Let's just leave I mean, Bree. not liking you is one thing. As long as you have Let's just any... leave Bree, is that what he you was... said? Yeah. Like, well, let's go. He we was threatening to arrest Bree us as a group last time we were there. Bree so already I feel like left putting you. us at the <laughs> legislative chambers is probably not a good choice. For what I it's worth, that, that might have been a misinterpretation or misspeak on my part. He was starting to arrest Bree specifically. Okay, I thought he was just at the point like, all right, fuck all of you, like, get out mm -hmm. before I arrest all of you kind of thing. Nope, very specific. Uh, okay, no, I mean. misunderstood said situation. None of, you, none of the rest of you have done anything illegal to his knowledge. I still feel like he isn't going to want to help us, but I don't know. No, but we'll that doesn't mean... Himself. Yeah. All right, I have two plans now. Um, we can go to this meeting, uh, stake it out, just maybe he'll show up. Maybe we can learn something a little bit new. Or, if these, um, if these break-ins and these vandalisms are a big deal, maybe it's something the Maelstrom can handle. Those are my, those are my main two ideas as of right now. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, so tell, tell me more about these break-ins and these vandalisms. Yeah, let's let's go on this chain. Uh, well, 
I don't know a lot about them, just that they've been happening. There's a lot of talk that it's been some sort of three queen group that's been doing it. I don't know myself. Like Ooh, I said, three um, queen, neat. Oh, what kind? I mean, there's a there's but a lot three, of like that. Queen. The the guy that we met in the you remember the guy in the wagon that talked through mines and had the really Oh kind of god, shitty yeah. the guards that yeah, 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 the one of them yeah. who was kind of a dick to us because we were a dick to her. Oh, yeah, what was yeah, that guy? So we're cream. So, like, four mantis type kind of dude, yeah. so which I, I'm sure is offensive to the cream. So, they think they're the ones who are doing it? Well, that's the that a lot of people have, have said that there's three queen have it, it has been the perpetrators. It's mostly. Concentrated in in Guapa. Um there's it, it's been in a few different cloth workshops and magic shops, a couple of temples, um, just sort of. I, I don't know about it. Just a few different places uh, in the area. Have they have they hit a temple of pamphlets? I don't think so. Also, um, uh, Quats, in this city, is there a temple district here, or is it all spread out? There's not a temple district here. You have seen a couple of, like, religious structures that you think... You haven't seen a temple of temple specifically, but you also haven't, like, looked, so... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe we go check out this area and ask some questions, see what we can find? Well, they're sort of mostly in proper in this general area, they're not really concentrated in a specific geographic location, as it were. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's something. It's a lead, at least. And then when is, when is this meeting? I think sometime this afternoon. Okay, why don't we... It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a session of the, of the assembly. Okay. So why don't we go to this assembly this afternoon, and then tonight we'll check out this area proper. Yeah, that's probably sound plan. All right. Um, I cast sending and relay the message to Carter. Uh, tell me what exactly you say to Carter. Um. Because you got twenty-five words. Yeah, go. Yeah. So assembly <laughs> meeting this afternoon. Meet us there. Uh, we'll explain when we meet you. He responds with, Great. Where? Shit. You only used 14 words. You got like 11 more words here. Um, I looked at the, I'm like, where is this assembly meeting at? That will be at the whole of parliamentary deliberation and representation of lawmaking. Um, it's that a really big title. Quick. How many words in is that? Six, which is exactly how many words you it's, have left. It's the really big uh, marble building with the blast archway in front of it. Okay. It's like really uh, hard so if you've been out. to if you've been to Elite HQ, it's right next door. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Perfect. Uh, it's next, just fine. Next, sorry, I, I'm, the rest of my thing I do uh, next to Elite headquarters. All right. Does anybody know Disguise Self? Anybody want to teach me Disguise Self in a very short amount of time? I can get some algae and give you a wig. That is not... that. Maybe we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Garel, while I'm here, um, you remember before the potentially putting you in mortal danger thing where we gave you that Sea Hydra hide? What? As a, like, just as, like, a to do something with. Uh, how's yeah. that going? I'll be honest with you, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I will, um... Don't, don't, no rush. Still fucking waiting. Oh, yeah, so no rush. Uh, um, no rush. I had a question gonna pull out a piece of paper from the bag of holding and scratch off the one day left and write three. Okay. Um, I have a question as well. If you wanted to get a material to use as, like, a wire, is there a, a, a certain animal part that would work better, or is there, or should you just get just a straight wire? Like, I'm looking for something flexible. You want, 
a wire for what purpose? Um, I have a design in my head. Um, I need something that the wire can contract, but then once the wire expands, it's flexible enough to kind of move back and forth, but strong enough that it won't fall apart. You're looking for like a, like a, a swing type scenario, sort or of. yeah, just something something with some elasticity. Yes. You're probably looking for anything. I could probably get you something like that. It will be uh, organic in nature. Yeah. Would you Would you think an or sense. something organic would would hold up better than like? something metallic because I, I need the flexibility and I felt like organic would be better. That, it will get you more flexibility but depending on what you're using it for, I mean, what kind of project are you working on? Is this a... Is this a, a it's it's uh, a weapon design I've been thinking over. Um, think of it kind of like the, like how uh, the way a flail moves around. Um, right. Would there be a or would there be a, some sort of animal material that would be a strong enough whip for the flail part, or would it? Mm, not for long term that I can think of right now. You're probably best off with uh, an actual metal swing of some type. Okay. Um... I'm not an expert. I'm trying to think about particularly mm, no, because anything that would be doable enough isn't going to have any sort of elasticity in terms of uh, animal parts. Okay. Um, in that case, I have one other thing to ask. Um, do you sell, like, bone shards? Like, sharp little bits of bone? I could sell you a bone and you could break it. Okay, yeah. Could I buy, like, two, three bones? You care what they're from? Um, something strong, if possible. Something not very brittle. Oh, Alright. I got some mammoth bones. Okay, Kai, how big are they? Mm, they're. He, he's got like a. Well, I've actually got a fair chunk of several different pieces. I could give you like a, a tibia, and that, and he holds it up, and it's like the width of his head. Um, or maybe just a a, a a whip a whip bone, and he holds one of those up, and it's pretty long, but it's like more manageable in width maybe yeah okay i'll take rib bone all right um i'll give you that for uh 75 go okay all right and that's uh that's it now comes the man all right <laughs> I mean, you're, you're very accurate. God damn it! You're very accurate. <laughs> oh. I fucking love this guy, by the way. Uh -huh. This is legitimately, like, my favorite character. Me too. Character. Like, I feel I kind him. of bad for laughing at the accent, but I can't help it. He's also I just a super him. nice guy. It's Yeah, he's the best. He is. He's my favorite. <laughs> Or anything else I can do for you, too. May I win? <laughs> uh, no. Wait, I'm not. Why am I talking? Um, uh, no. I mean, that's that's all I can think of right now. All right. I will um let you know if I hear or see anything from off wind. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Thank you. Of um. Also, quads. What kind of rib bone was that again? Mammoth. Do you want me to put it in the bag of holding, or...? No, I'm gonna hold it. So okay. I, 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 have, I have a separate thing on my inventory sheet for my supplies I'm, I'm using. You're okay. going to hold a mammoth bone, you're just gonna walk around with that song on your shoulder? <laughs> just wanna make sure I'm getting this just image right. strapped to his head, or like... Well, how, how big is it? Like, how long? Like, is you, are, you familiar, are you familiar with the Flintstones opening scene? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Where they drop the, the rib rack on the car? All right, fine. Put it in the bag. Of <laughs> <laughs> it's not as it's not as big as the rib of the dragon that you told him by yeah. any means, but it's not small either. Okay. The the, the rib that we sold him. <laughs> and got back. Yes. 
<laughs> I don't know where you're from, and that's making this really hard to do. Okay. What the fuck? You know where I'm from. From the plane of water somewhere way back in his limit. From probably. the plane of water. That actually <laughs> flows way better, too. That's the worst part. Hey, you know where I'm from. I genuinely can't think of it right now. From Jarl. <laughs> Um, oh, that fits into the cadence too. From the town of Darrell. <laughs> this is the best, you guys. All right, so you guys are heading back. Anything Please. else that you like to do? Uh. <laughs> you guys yeah, got up a little late this morning, so it's like approaching like midday. Uh, well, the only other thing I had to do was just a quick shopping thing. I mean, Norn, if you got shit to do, I'll do that first. I... Would you believe I genuinely don't? I would not. I've nothing to do for, like, 12 days at this point. I would not believe that. Okay. Um, well, in that yeah, case... Yeah, I got nothing else to do. I'm broke. Alright, in that case, um, I'm gonna go try to buy some more supplies, and then, if possible, if we have no other big plans for today before the meeting, I wanna try and get some smithing done. Just, just to... Like, Put shapes together, nothing serious. Okay, where are you going to attempt to smith things? That's what I'm trying to figure out later. But the first thing is, uh -huh. um, I have to buy two bits of wire or cord. I don't know how to how to describe it. Okay. Um, I will say if it's something metal that you're looking for, you yeah. can find a, a shop that just sells metal pieces and pick up. You're looking for what, like Cut. six feet worth total of like metal, like springy thread, basically. Uh, nine feet. Nine feet. Okay. Um, what metal? Um, well, I need something that it's strong enough to be durable, but also still flexible enough to like move and like wrap around things. He wants if copper were, wire. Yeah, I think copper is probably the way you're going. Copper here. wire. And okay. The, yeah. So then I, I will buy some copper wire. Um, thanks for that, by the way, Tracy. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, fuck, I don't remember my medals well enough for this. Um, <laughs> it sounds like to copper to me. Yeah. Um, Quads, quick thing, quick. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what I, I should have done this while I was doing it. Um, was it in Linnaean <laughs> for the quilt, or was that Dragonix? This is Morian, I think. Wait, is it then Morian? you got what for the quilt? The 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 bottle of Maroki. That's Morian. So, Morian, okay. That's what yeah, that it, that is the symbol. That is the best symbol for Morian, as you were instructed. Is the bottle? Go ahead, proceed. <laughs> you can carry on. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Is it, is it carry on, my good man. Is it the same thing if I if I bump it to twelve feet? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, after a while, he's gonna get kind of anxious to get up, so he's just gonna, like, <clears throat> run laps around the boat and mm -hmm. just try to, like, stay active. Mm -hmm. Working on his fitness? Yeah. Up in monks the gym. Do what a monk's gotta do. <laughs> Once he finishes drinking, he starts jogging. It seems like a great combo. He's been sipping it. He's not, like, you know, like, it's been two seconds. He's not pounding. Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. He's nursing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Um. Norn, what are you doing while Zarn is attempting to go smith at things? I. I genuinely don't know. I'm just gonna head towards the uh, the Hall of Parliamentary Procedures and debate. <laughs> Did okay. I get that right? No, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna head over towards that place. Uh, and like try and buy whatever the Gildar equivalent of a hot dog is. And just like sit down on a on a fountain edge or something and just people watch for a bit. Okay. Um Roll a perception check for me as you're sort of just hanging out over in that area. Please tell me it's a perception check to buy a hot dog. Eighteen? <laughs> um, no, you managed to pick up your whatever um Fantastic. stuff you procured. Your fried chicken on a stick or whatever it is. Hey, um, that's actually better. <laughs> Sick. You're Just eating an uh, entire month. You do oh. notice milling about um, a couple of things. For one, there's a few uh, sort of well-dressed individuals, mostly gnomish, but um, that all sort of have to seem like a similar style of dress that are going in uh, every so often. Um, hmm. um, <clears throat> so sort of like the dark, dark Clothing, or, sort of, sort of robe-like, not like culty robes, like, like a just robe. fine, fine clothing. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. How um, many in total? About how many? Um, that you see, um, yeah. like twenty-ish. Ooh. Um, so this is like a big democracy. Neat. <sighs> um, you also notice, um, now you've seen a couple of them in proper. This is the first time you've seen uh, them near the Grand Thoroughfare, and certainly in any sort of numbers, you see a small group of Thrikreen yeah. um, that are sort of, they seem to be like getting food and milling about. Um, you notice that they're not, they are speaking in Thrikreen to one another. Um, yeah. Don't appear to be speaking to anyone else. Just a lot of know. clicking noises, right? Lots of clicking and, and, and uh, like occasional like chirping. Gotcha. Huh. Do they look like they're waiting for the same thing I'm waiting for? It does. Huh. Interesting. There's, there's there's other groups of there's other people and groups of people around who seem to be in the same general vicinity. You notice the three Korean in particular because. This is the first time you've really seen a group of them all in one place. <laughs> Neat. Um, based on what I know about Thrakreen, mm -hmm. uh, would I assume these guys are the same as the uh, like the, the the talking telepathically thing, or would I know that that's not like a common thing? Roll a nature check for me or just a straight intelligence check either is fine they are literally the, the same, same thing i guess yeah for um, me they're the stone same so 12. you based on your conversation with the the previous guy and what garrick had told you previously as he was fairly familiar with your being of noble birth um mm -hmm. you rec you realize that you remember that the telepathic abilities of that one that you met previously is rare Okay. Most three Korean do not have that capability. All right. Um, and while I'm sitting there, and still just people watching, I'm just going to think to myself, or think out loud. I don't know how this... Like, can I yell in the side of my own head? You just like loud, loudly... Hey, if any of you can hear me, wave. You know who I... You know which one I am. There's no noticeable response. Okay, fair enough. Yep. 
and I'm gonna go find whatever the local equivalent of an ice cream is as dessert, and then just sit down and keep watching. Watch that would be ice cream. Fantastic! I'm so happy that it's this year. I'm gonna go get an ice cream, and then just go sit down and like watch how people are interacting around the screen, and just yeah, keep an eye on how other people are acting towards this specific group. You see, for the most part, no one really seems to make a deal about it. There's a few mm. people who you see, like, maybe, like, cross the street, but they're rare. It's not okay. common. Huh. Interesting. Zarn. Yes. Um, as you're running your set of errands that we'll discuss in a bit here, you are uh, walking about when you feel a hand on your shoulder. You turn, and you don't see anyone there, but you still feel the hand, and then you hear in your ear, Shh. What the fuck? Yep. Maelstrom. <laughs> you are of interest to us. Who are you? Can lead me. We'll tell you later. Where are you? Here. Not, you can't see me. Uh, that's obvious. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's part. What do you know, Maelstrom? I... Of the Grenade Skull? I start walking. I nod my head towards an alleyway and I start walking towards the alley. Oh my god, it's taking them in an alley. A this individual with a hand still on your shoulder follows. I'm never gonna see so Zarn again. Hand sort of stays on your shoulder, and as you walk over to the alley and arrive, I I know much about the grinning skull, not as much as I would hope. What do you know? Enough to know that it needs to be brought to an end. Ooh! Are you interested? I am going to insight check the voice. <laughs> you may roll an insight check with disadvantage. Motherfucker! Alright. Uh, <laughs> insight, plus three. So... Okay, not bad. Fourteen. Um... It's very difficult to read insight on something that you can't see with a voice that you've never heard before. Um, as far as you can tell, they are speaking the truth, but you don't get a real strong vibe either way. Okay. Um, absolutely. And I kind of like whisper back, like, are, do you know of the sage? Yes. <clears throat> Are you the sage? No. Damn. The sage is my teacher. Oh, shit. Yes, Would I Would you am... like to be a student? Abs absolutely. 100%. I have... Join us. I Tomorrow have... night. Tomorrow night. Where? Tell us where to meet you. Give us a place, we'll be there. You won't see us, and you won't know where you're going. After. Uh, my ship is at the docks. Uh, what in ship? The, in the quays. Did we name the ship? I forget. I don't know if we did. I don't think so. Well, I, I, I would explain to the voice the, the exact location of the ship. Yes. We're at birth 23. We will meet you there tomorrow night. Should at midnight. I... Okay. Be prepared to learn. I am extremely prepared. The hand moves your shoulder. They better hope it's not math. <laughs> Are they they go on? 
your the hand leaves your shoulder. Okay. Um, before I go back out into the thoroughfare, I kind of pull my collar down and look at my sh collarbone, which has a tattoo that says Grace on it, and I say, this is where it starts, and I walk back out. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and call the session there for the evening. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fuck the skull. Gonna kill that bitch. <laughs> I just don't trust oh, his voice boy. at all, but I like it. <laughs> no, something sage just jumped out at me, and I don't know if it's actually a thing. I guess we will find out next time. Oh, yeah. D &D. It's always fine to go with disembodied voices into dark alleys and just listen to them. Always. This is one of those spots where I wish I could see Quads' face just because I want to see a problem with this, yeah. To see if this connection I have made is actually a thing or not. I'm curious as to what you're thinking. Uh, uh, I don't have any idea. idea. Okay. I'm actually kind of uh, in my backstory. I want to kill something. There's a sage in that. I'm mm. now wondering if it's the same thing. And I'm now deeply concerned that it might be the same thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, so ready to cut the stream? Yep. Alright, any last minute things, guys? Nope. Alright. I wanted to oh, hit. Thanks for watching, team. Thanks, guys. Bye.